Yes, Ramakrishna, thank you so much for joining us on the telecast. My question to you is, uh, why is this project important and can this be a template for future island railway connectivity? Well, uh, uh, good morning to everyone and uh, happy and uh, prosperous uh, Ram Naomi Day. Greetings for all, all the viewers. And uh, Mr. Sudan Shumani has already highlighted uh, the technical challenges in uh, designing this uh, bridge. So, despite um, all the technical challenges, uh, the Indian Railway, especially the RVNL, was able to construct the bridge within uh, a period of, say, three, three to four years. So, that is uh, something marvelous. And Indian engineers, Indian Railway engineers are capable of doing great things, provided they are given freedom, autonomy, and then, um, uh, you know, enough resources. That is what, uh, time and again, uh, the... Uh, uh, the story has been uh, revealing. So this time also, they have uh, railway engineers have uh, done that. And uh, uh, and if at all we look at this uh, bridge, it is certainly a much much better uh, bridge because hundred years have gone, and um, we have used the latest state of the art technology, and the height of the bridge has also increased because uh, taking uh, multiple factors into consideration like uh, turbulence in the sea water and all. And uh, the speed also has uh, significantly increased now. And uh, as per our, uh, you know, Sanadhan Dharma, uh, what people normally do is first they visit Rameshwaram, and then uh, from there they have to visit uh, Kashi, Varanasi, and then again come back to Varne, uh, Rameshwaram and to complete the pilgrimage trip. That is what uh, the pilgrimage trip is all about. And now this is an opportunity because with the modern bridge. With a bridge which is capable of, uh, I mean, uh, the operating speed is permitted to be 75 km per hour. Uh, unlike uh, although the design speed is uh, 160, 180 km per hour. So now uh, Indian Railway should uh, think of uh, operating more trains from various uh, parts of, uh, I mean, uh, India to Rameshwaram so that uh, it, it can be given, uh, this can be given a boost for uh, this uh, spiritual tourism and then uh, cultural uh, development of the nation and thereby bringing more uh, I mean uh, resources to the government and uh, this is what actually they should do and in addition to that certainly this is uh, a project uh, which has uh, given uh, it might have given a lot of learnings and confidence to the railway engineers civil engineers and uh, this will be I mean exceptionally useful for them uh, when they construct uh, any other uh, I mean, uh, projects uh, under uh, complex conditions because learning from one uh, um, project to another project is uh, can happen I mean very smoothly and uh, whether it is uh, connecting other uh, islands or whether it is connecting uh, I mean uh, uh, rail, uh, providing railway lanes to the hilly regions or any any other uh, point for that matter this experience and then the, this has, can be a uh, good uh, lesson for them and uh, Indian Railway also should start uh, recording their achievements uh, through case studies. This is what I have been saying uh, for a long time because that will be uh, the best source of uh, resource for the future engineers whenever they uh, train them. So I think uh, from the Palmer Bridge construction itself uh, there can be uh, 5 to 10 uh, cases, cases can be written and uh, uh, that can be used for uh, uh, by the railway institutes to impart uh, training to their uh, railway engineers. So the learning should uh, pass on to the next generation. Railway uh, learning should pass on to the next uh, I mean, group of engineers who are going to come uh, I mean, for that. And then that will also uh, give you a I mean, good uh, standing uh, in the world for uh, Indian railways and uh, Indian railway engineers. I'd like to pose my next question to Sudhanshu Mani. Sudhanshu Mani, uh, do you think better connectivity to a city like Rameshwaram will help boost tourism and also generate to, uh, also generate revenue? Yeah, of course, that goes without saying. It's of course uh, uh, one more attraction added to the visit to, to to tourists to visit Rameshwaram, which is already a popular destination. Uh, what has happened is now the bridge itself has become a tourist spot. So it will add to the draw of Rameshwaram. And uh, it's good that uh, a, techno a technological marvel itself becomes a, a tourist spot. And uh, it would be good for people would not only like to go to Rameshwaram, but on the way also like to 
have a deco of the marvelous bridge that has been created, a majestic bridge which has been created by railway civil engineers. So I totally agree with you and tourism, of course, for development of the local area, it's good for the economy and therefore good for the country, definitely. Also, uh, T.S. Ramakrishna, when we are talking mm. about uh, the marvel, the engineering marvel this bridge is, how, what were the challenges that uh, this bridge had to overcome and uh, how did this new bridge overcome these challenges? So we've seen that there's a turbulent winds, there's, a, uh, there's also the strong winds and unpredictable weather condition. How did that, uh, they overcame these challenges? No, certainly they have used uh, the state-of-the-art uh, technologies for uh, construction of the uh, bridge. So, certainly this is much, much, uh, I mean, superior compared to the bridge that was constructed 100 years uh, back. And uh, that's how actually they have overcome that. But still, you see, this is a, I think uh, Mr. Sudan Shumani may be uh, better, uh, can explain it uh, much better because he is a man, uh, technical man, and I am a commercial and uh, financial man. So, I leave uh, to Mr. <laughs> Sudan Shumani. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ramakrishna. Uh, I'm also not a civil engineer, so not an expert, but there is something I would like to say right. uh, to answer your question, which would, should, should be a lesson to not only railway engineers, but all countrymen. You see, uh, what is notable is that 95% or I believe a little higher content in respect of the design and materials is all Indian, indigenous. So that kind of indigenous content brings in ownership and that ownership brings pride and you see the uh, pride can make you do 120 130 percent more than what you are otherwise capable of so this is the lesson railway men need today or the whole country needs today why because we have no dearth of funds for infrastructure today it's being uh, the government has been very kind with the largest to indian railways but is that being used effectively you will remain a